Good morning students. Today we are going to learn electric gas biological science. The topic is transportation in plants. As we all know that plants are producers. They prepare, they pour food in the process of photosynthesis. That's why we call them as a producers. They need water for photosynthesis, transpiration, transportation for mechanical functions also. Then how do they get water and from there where they get water we will see now. Water and minerals are absorbed by the root hairs from the soil and they get transported to the different parts of the plant in upward direction. Similarly, the leaves have prepared their own food in the process of photosynthesis and they transport their food to one place to the other places in downward directions. These transport of food and water These transportation of food and water is transport done by xylem and phloems. Xylem and phloems. The xylem and phloem tissues are the transportation of food and water. Next we will see the plant tissues. This epical monostomatic tissue, the cells are present in the tip of shoot and tip of the roots. Why? Because it has the growth has taken place here also. The tip of a shoot and tip of the root. This is called as epical monostomatic tissues. Whereas in this lateral monostomatic tissue, the growth occurs in The growth is occurs in thickness of the plants. This is lateral meristematic tissue. It is also called as cambium. It is also called as cambium. The next one is permanent 
टिश्यू तो नेक्स्ट वन इज परमानेंट टिश्यू व्हाट इज परमानेंट टिश्यू इट इज नथिंग बट मैच्योर मेरिस्टोमैटिक टिश्यू व्हाई बिकॉज इन द द न्यू सेल्स आर डिवाइड वेरी रैपिडली so the growth is also will be occur very rapidly later stages when it comes to final stages it get matures so the divide will be start and the growth will be also will be start like the in in meristematic tissues the growth the divide will be more then growth is also will be more when it comes to permanent uh, tissues the cells get final stages and it get mature that's why There is no divide, and the growth will be also no. Again, these permanent tissues are divided into two types. Those are simple permanent tissues. The so second one is complex permanent tissues. These simple permanent tissues are made up of similar cells it is all of one type of cells these are all one type of cells it provides the protection and support to the plants it provides the protection and support to the plants again very standard it is divided into two types one is protective tissue Second one is supportive tissue. These cells are protect the plants from external influences. In this, the epidermis layer is the outer protective layer which is protect the plant from external influences. The second one is supportive tissues. This is a tissue which combines all over the body. Presence of lignin. 
the boron diamond is used it is helpful in the photosynthesis these are present in present in chloroplast when it comes to chlorine diamond it is supports the stain all over the plant it gives the mechanical support to the plant it gives mechanical support to the plant this is simple permanent tissues from next class we will see the complex permanent tissues over write down definitions of definitions of diffusion osmosis and structure and functions of structure and functions of xylem and phloem xylem and phloem thank you students